What is up heroes and welcome back to Small Pokemon XD Gale of Darkness. Last episode we made our way to the rooftop of the Cypher Lab and we adjusted the levels of this generator and it's about to explode. So I'm going to go heal up but then I found out something happened so I quickly reset the game and we're back here and let's see what happens. And that's it. You know, I was kind of expecting a huge explosion, but I guess uh, shaking of the lair's fine. Hello, sir. Oh, you're that punk from the SS Libera. You're behind this, aren't you? Um, no, definitely wasn't me. Oh no, what the blazes? The Shadow Pokemon production software's been deleted. Gorgon gets furious if things don't go his way. He's gonna chew me out again. He's gonna chew you out? Okay. So we're gonna battle this dude. And after we beat this dude, I'm going to go quickly go ahead off screen, purify these Zangus, and then quickly heal up. So to use some revives and stuff, and I've got like no PP left. Got a Cacturn. That's pretty awesome. If that's a Shadow, I actually kind of want that. Right, let's go for a Flamethrower on Cacturn. And then we're going to Ice Beam the Cacturn as well, just in case Flamethrower doesn't finish it off. It should do. It might not. Oh, critical hit, then you're definitely gonna die. That's pretty convenient. So hopefully something that comes out next is weak to ice, because that would be perfect. A wheezing? Ah, oh, that sucks. At least I can take a nice ice beam to the face. Don't do too much, don't do too much. Ah, that's fine. Alright, so I'm going to switch Flareon out because he isn't going to do too much. So if we go into Sack, can't be switched out, okay, that's fine. Uh, let's just finish off the Weezing and then whatever comes out again we can Ice Beam it. But I shouldn't do that just in case it's a Shadow Pokemon, because this guy might have two. Because a lot of them recently have been having two Shadow Pokemon, which is pretty awesome. So I'm going to Body Slam the Huntail. Hopefully Flamethrower can take out the Weezing. There we go, nice. Earth Ring. Oh, that looks so good on this game. Like, it looks darker than usual. Like, it looks like a light brown on other games, so this looks like a dark brown. That is pretty awesome. Slam didn't do too much. Damn it, Whirlpool, go away. So I guess I'll flame throw the Ursa Ring in then. Oh. I'm gonna body slam the Ursa Ring as well, so I don't think a flame throw would finish Ursa Ring off. I reckon it'll bring him down to about yellow. Or not. I did a lot less than I thought it would. <laughs> Scratch, okay. Don't get Wally, don't get Wally. Oh, don't flinch, don't flinch, don't flinch. You're gonna flinch, aren't you? You're gonna so flinch. Oh, no, I knew it. I knew you were gonna flinch. Oh, just my luck. That's fine, that's fine. Okay, uh, flamethrower again, and then go for Ice Beam. Because I know the flamethrower is not gonna kill it, so the Ice Beam can finish it off. Don't get Wally again, don't get... Oh, that's good. That's fine. And now we can bring out Sack and Sack can kill the Huntail. Goodbye, Ursaring. Oh, 
Oh, you look so good on this game. Now, nah, Buck. Is this the last Pokemon? I think it is. And it's a Shadow. Shadow Arbuck. Nice. Yeah, last two Pokemon. So I'll kill the Huntail. I'm going to go for a Body Slam on Arbuck. Hopefully, paralyze it. That would be ideal. Shadow Half. That's definitely a new move. Looks like it does half damage. To everything? Yeah. Even itself? Oh my god. Oh, Body Slam, don't kill it, please. That's a dumb move. If it halves everything, including itself, that is... That's really silly. Okay, we're good. Paralyze it, paralyze it, paralyze it. Right, I'm going to quickly try and capture this as fast as possible. Uh, let's go for a great ball. goes for shadow half again then I guess that's kind of good for us I'll go for a ultra ball no messing around must recharge oh, okay that's cool I mean that moves kind of cool I guess but I probably would never use it like half of everyone's HP included in my own Pokemon just doesn't seem to be that good there we go we got the Arbuck Arbuck <laughs> Gorgon He's run off. But before we go, oh god, uh, Togepi can now be purified. Before we go in there, I'm going to quickly go ahead and purify Zangoose and heal everyone up quickly. So I'll see you in a bit. Damn, you two have been asleep for a couple of episodes now. That sucks. Okay, so we're back. Zangoose is purified and we're healed up. Let's head inside. Hello, Gorgon. Where are all my crew? You wiped them out? Every last one? Yep. Impossible. Nope, not at all. Arr, in wrecking my factory. You smeared dirt all over my good name and standing. Oh, he's jumped over his desk. You wanna battle them, buddy? Bring it on. He's like a giant ape, isn't he? Jesus. Hey, I got a Celio as well, but mine's better. Mine's named Wally. Level 36, Jesus, okay, um, I'm going to try and take this out as fast as possible, I'm going to water gun it as well, just in case, and go for a protect, oh no, oh that sucks so bad, I was not expecting that, an earthquake, oh no, Okay, you can tell this guy's going to be a really tough battle then. Wow. Right, okay. That's fine, we did the same again, because I doubt he get away with two protects. That was redonkulous. I was not expecting protect earthquake first turn, Jesus. 
And we got the burn! Burn, baby, burn! Disco Inferno! And then what again is gonna cool you off? Alright, that's one down. Did you have like five or six Pokemon? I didn't see. And a Slow King. That's pretty cool. Body Slam coming in. And Prophecy is down. That's not a problem though. This is why I wanted to heal up before we went in here, because I knew there'd be a boss battle. I'm going to bring out... Uh, let's bring out Sack. So he does have six Pokemon. Level 36. I am so underleveled. Okay, it's fine. I'm going to go ahead and spark the Slow King. And body slam it as well. Paralysis. Nerf quite okay. Hopefully you kill uh, Slow King. Actually, I need to take that thing out right now, just in case you have a Shadow Pokemon I want to get. So I remember on a Colosseum, there was one dude who had a, um, I think it was a Graveler or a Golem and an Entei, and the Golem or Graveler would always go for Earthquake and end up killing the uh, the Entei. Luckily, I managed to get it though. And oh my God, are you serious? That has Earthquake as well. I just want to kill each other, Jesus. So it doesn't matter who I take out, they both can have Earthquake. Um, well, Earthquake won't do much to Goomba, will it? It shouldn't do. Alright, so if we... Mega Drain to finish you off, and I'm going to Body Slam you just in case. I don't trust Goomba not to kill it. Yeah, I knew it. I knew this was going to happen. That's why I went for Body Slam as well. Just had to double, double check. Oh my god. Making sure. That was pretty lucky. Alright, that's probably going to get Earthquaked by the... Oh, no, you can Body Slam. Okay. Mock punch the Ursa Ring. Yeah, body slam. Your Celio. Protect. Oh no. You know, Earthquake's gonna come in again. Paralyze it, paralyze it, paralyze it, paralyze it. Ah, oh, damn it. Just, just praying. Critical hit, ouch. Just praying at the paralysis and then he gets paralyzed that turn. That would have been, oh, super swell. Uh, let's go for, let's go for Squall because we can also Brick Break Ursa Ring. But I think it's a good idea if we take out Celio. So I'm gonna punch you and then brick break you as well. Just in case the muck, muck, muck punch doesn't finish you off. Critical hit, that's nice. Primate. And it's a shadow, okay. Well, that's going to be fun to capture. Get that like, nice brick break to the face. And you're going to brick break me back. Ouch! Oh my god, that actually killed me. Okay, this is not good. This is not good. I think what I have to do now, he's got three Pokemon left. I double team and kill the Ursa Ring. And then hopefully he only has one Shadow Pokemon. He's got two, then that's going to be kind of bad. But. I 
Okay, we lived that, that's fine. Gardevoir's gotta finish off first ring. Good, 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 good. And a Hypno, eh? And he has two Shadow Pokemon, okay, okay. Um. Well, what do I want dead and what do I want alive? Headbutt you. Sing. You. Hopefully I can pull it off. Oh no. Yes, you're a god of all. Ooh, living with a little bit of HP. And you outspeed them both. No. I'm going to lose now. Sucks so bad. Hopefully, we can rebattle this dude because I kind of wanted them to, but. Stupid Ursa Ring of Earthquake ruining my day. Brick break. Hiya! Goodbye, Ursa Ring. Defense, that's fine. I see why this uh, Hypno has this move because obviously Earthquake would just absolutely destroy my team if uh, my defense was dropped. Man, this guy's team is annoying. Protect, Earthquake, Protect, Earthquake. Oh, you know what? Two Pokemon with Earthquake. Let's both go for Earthquake because that's smart. I hate this dude. I'm gonna headbutt you and then I'm gonna. Cool, looks I'm scared. I might end up killing you if I go for something. Like Crush Claw, that would just easily kill you, I think. Flinch or get paralyzed, and you get through both. No, I'm gonna risk it. I'm gonna risk it. I mean, the psychic type brick break shouldn't do too much. Okay, there you go. That's fine. That is absolutely fine. I was, expect I was expecting brick break to do a little bit more, roughly that much. But that's fine. It's all good. And you're still not getting paralyzed or flinched. Come on. Don't kill anyone. Oh no. Took them both out. Oh wow. Okay, so we have one Pokemon left. Oh my god, I have one chance of getting this. I have one chance of getting this stupid hypno. Come on. Come on, come on. You need to you need to capture it. Paralyzed in yellow. Ultra Ball should be good. No! Oh, I'm not gonna live this, I'm not gonna live this, I'm not gonna live this. Oh, okay, I can. Okay, right, one more go. One more go. Come on, Hypno, be a bro. Be a hip bro. <laughs> That's bad. Be a Brono. I don't care. Just get caught. Yes! Oh my god. That was so lucky. Man, I'm underleveled. I need to do some training. Probably take on Justy's gym next, just to get that little bit of extra XP. Maybe take on the Colosseum as well. Yeah, I'll probably do that next episode. Ah, that's it. You're not getting away with this. No way, no how, no ifs or buts. 
I'm not taking this. I'll blow up the factory with you in it. Go! Oh, hello. It's Yoda, Gorgon. That is quite enough, except that you have lost. M Master Grievel! So now we officially found out, you know, who the, the bad guy is. Yes, indeed, I am Mr. Vrik, or Vrich. Vrich? Perhaps I should say Grievel, the Grand Master of Cypher. I must say, I'm taken aback. I never once imagined that you would destroy our factory. And that's not important. Even though the mass output of Shadow Pokemon has ended, our plan itself is unharmed. We already have completed XD001's final tuning. It now rests with me. XD001? The ultimate Shadow Pokemon that is resistant to purification? Now, I shall prepare our final plan to activate XD001. Do you honestly think you can stop me? I shall be at Cypher's HQ. It is on Citadark Isle of the coast off the coast of Gateon Port. It is an impregnable fortress that repels all with cruel waves and thick clouds. No one can reach it. Come if you dare. I'll enjoy waiting for you. Ho 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 ho. <laughs> Master Grievel has such a wicked sense of humour. No ordinary ship can get close because of the rough seas. And even if you do manage to get on the island, the place will be swarming with trainers carrying the Shadow Pokemon I made. Even though there should be a lot of, a lot more Shadow Pokemon, if XD001 didn't drop the ship in the desert, we wouldn't have taken so long uh, turning the Shadow Pokemon. But it doesn't matter, there's plenty of Shadow Pokemon to become you and become to welcome you in style. How many are there? <laughs> I can't tell you that. If I did, it'd floor you. It's just a matter of time before you, the world belongs to us. You better be ready for it. I'll try. Well. I guess we have to head to Gadion Port and I almost forgot that. That didn't sparkle enough. Ooh. So is this a list of all the shadow Pokemon? Um, went to the PDA, but... I don't know where it would be. Is it on this? Is this the whole oh it's the whole list. Oh my god. Oh whoa, there's the three birds in this. A dragon knight. Oh, that's gonna be sweet. So there yeah, Salamans. Oh, I have to get that. Oh that Salamans is so good on the team. There is a lot of Shadow Pokemon to get, okay. So we can see we've missed the Primeape, the Paris, that's two, three, four. So I've only missed four Shadow Pokemon so far, which I can always get from Mirror B. So next time Mirror B comes up, I will definitely try and get that one. I'm gonna keep pressing buttons, trying to scroll down. So what's the next one I get? The next one I get will probably be the Eradicate Golduck Sableye. So I don't think I'll be changing my team until um, to be honest, I don't want to use Altaria because I, I used it on Colosseum. Like, oh, if you press right, it goes down so much, it's like really hard to control. Uh, again, I don't think I'll be using anything till a Salamence, I think. Maybe I'll get rid of Electric for, well, yeah, get rid of Electric for Manetric because Manetric is pretty cool. And then get the Salamence, switch out maybe Zangoose. And obviously, well, we want the Lugia, we want the free birds. Who's gonna have the free birds then? That's probably like a post game thing. Because we know that the um, Master Grievel is gonna have Lugia, I guess. And the free birds. I don't know. Maybe the free birds are in the building. Just like the uh, Pokemon uh, 2000 movie, the second Pokemon movie, where the guy traps the free birds, Lugia comes. That was a good movie. Yeah, so I reckon Salamence and. Minetric are the next Pokemon I have on the team. That's pretty cool. So we better leave this place in case it blows up, which I doubt it will. Getting out of here is kind of annoying as well. Gonna make sure I get to the uh, the entrance first, make sure nothing happens, and then I'll end the episode off there. So I think next episode, what we'll do is we're, we need a bit of training. We really do, because I am... Definitely a little bit too weak, so I'll go to um, Phoenix City, take on the Coliseum, 
win some prizes, win some money, and then our uh, take on Justy's pre-gym. That's a bit of training there as well. Is there any more Colosseums I could take on? Oh yeah, didn't um, Real Gam or Real Gams, whatever you, how you pronounce it, their Colosseum come back on. I'll take that Colosseum on as well. So I guess next episode will be a training fest of just battling lots and lots of people. Do two Colosseums. Oh, we've been robbed. That's why I don't want to uh, end the episode off up there just in case we miss this. Darn it. Give it back. Bring it back. What they steal? These two weird guys took off, took off with a shadow Pokemon. One had like a mohawk and the other had a hair like a bull. Mirror B. I mean, that's the last shadow Pokemon that came off the production line before it shut down. So is Mirror B going to be outside here? Probably is. I'm going to quickly save it just in case it is. Just, just in case it is Mirror B and I can just maybe get the shadow Pokemon over time. I might have to fight him. Are they still asleep here? Oh, the guards are gone now. They must have woken up. Mirror B, where are you? And he is not here. Okay, so I'm going to head to Phoenix so we can start doing a few things for next episode. So I'm going to end this episode right here. Thank you guys for watching. Next episode, we got some training to do because we are totally underleveled. And hopefully, next episode of Mirror B appears, I will quickly run to him, we'll beat him, capture some more Shadow Pokemon. And um, yeah, we need to find him four more times to catch up with the ones we missed. But thank you guys for watching. Have a great day. Peace.